Hey there, Sharon Hornellstrom here, coming to you from a treehouse. I know you can't tell, but I'm actually staying in a treehouse, which is super fun for my nephew's wedding today. Later today, he's getting married. Now, today our topic, our No Nonsense November 11 for the BU 365 Day Challenge, do one thing every day that improves us, is to be you, because everybody else has already taken, right? Everybody else has taken, all the other human beings get to be themselves and you need to and real realize that you can be yourself as well so you don't have to be anyone else you don't have to live by anyone else's uh rules and regulations and guidelines and beliefs and thoughts and feelings you have to choose those for yourself which is really really awesome and powerful if we take the opportunity to do that so i found a great list from tony robbins that tells us how to be ourselves and not in detail i'm not going to go into it in detail because i gotta get ready for a wedding but I want to share this. I always love a good Tony Robbins list. I'm going to grab my huge magnifying glass and see what it has to say. Number one, uh, know yourself. How can you be yourself if you don't know yourself? If you don't know what you like, what you don't like, what your preferences are. So we're on this lifelong journey to figure out what works for us and how we know is how it makes us feel. Number two, let go of negative self-talk. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty guilty of this one. And, and so is pretty much everyone I know. We all are often our own worst critic and worst enemy. Number three, focus on your strengths. How often have you been told in your life all the things you do wrong, all the things you say wrong, all the things that you're not good at? Throw those all out the window and focus on, out the window, what is the best parts of you and enhance those versus trying to fix what other people think is wrong with you. Number four, stop living in the past. This is a big one for a lot of people as well. And guess what? The past is a minute ago, a second ago. It's all the past. So focus on the present moment. Do what you can with what you've got right now and create the life that you want. Number five, stop caring about what other people think. I think the older we get and the more mature we get, the easier this one is to accept. And once you realize that, other people really don't think that much about you because everybody is so busy and concerned with being themselves and what things mean to them. They don't really have the time and energy to live your life for you and only you can do it anyway. Number six, uh, be open to change. How flexible and open to change are you? Number seven, be vulnerable, be authentic, be who you really are. Don't pretend to be something that you're not. Number eight, express yourself. And, and how do you do that? Maybe you wear funky shirts and big hair and, and stay in tree houses, but whatever feels right for you. Uh, number nine, uh, get out of your comfort zone. That's a biggie for a lot of us as well. Do things that stretch you, that you're excited about, that help you to grow as a human being and as, as a person. And number 10, find your community. And I, I call this one, find your people, right? We all need people that love us unconditionally for who we are, that support our dreams and goals and desires, and support us in creating the life that we want. So that's my little Tony Robbins list today. Our action item today is to, well, simply be yourself. But think about these things today. I say I'm going to use the journalistic framework today, and we've talked about this tool, who, what, where, when, why, and how. And I'm going to ask myself, when am I, who, well, who am I, and get to know myself better, you know, who, what, where, when, why, and how am I most myself? Am I most comfortable? Who am I around when I'm, am I most comfortable? What am I doing? What am I wearing? What am I looking at? What is my, what is my environment and my surroundings like? Why? Why do certain things make me feel good and other things make me feel bad? And then how can I make myself feel better? And how can I maybe think about these 10 things and am I doing them or not? And then just share one thing that you, you maybe have a revelation about or you notice that really, really works for you so we can learn from one another. That's it. Have an awesome day. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.